Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another vocabulary lesson here at Study English with Frank. So glad that you have joined us. And uh, I want to especially welcome all of our new students that have uh, recently subscribed to our channel. Welcome. And uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, I want to invite you to be sure today to just below this video, there's a little subscribe button. Go ahead and, and hit that and the little bell. And that way, YouTube will let you know each time we post a new video. Today's lesson, we're going to be learning all about animals, the names of the animals in English. Let's get started. All right, are you ready to learn 100 English names for animals? Of course, there are thousands of animals out there that we could talk about, but I've selected 100 of some of the most, or at least the more common animals that people might talk about as you are engaging English-speaking people in conversation. And so uh, it's good to know the names of at least 100 of the most common animals. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, uh, just a word of explanation of how we do this. I'll say the name of the animal and I'll leave a little space for you to repeat it after me. We find that's the best way to learn new vocabulary is to say it out loud. So I'm going to leave a little space and then after you hear yourself say it, I'm going to come on and say it again. And so you can easily compare how you said it to how I said it. And then I'll leave another space and I want you to practice it again. So we'll go through, we'll say each name twice, but you need to say it after me. That's the only way that you're really going to learn them is to say it out loud. Now, how we're going to do this is we're going to go through the vocabulary list twice. The first time that we go through, I might stop every once in a while and say a word of explanation about one of the animals. And then the second time we go through, it'll just be the vocabulary with no explanation. Also, if you're just interested in uh, vocabulary drills, I'm going to prepare another version of this lesson, and we're going to put it in the playlist called Learn While You Sleep. And what we'll do is we'll take that section where it's just vocabulary only, and we'll loop it four or five times so that you can just press play as you're going to sleep. And then uh, maybe in the morning, you'll know all 100 animal names. We'll hope anyway. So watch for that uh, Learn While You Sleep version of this video over in the playlist. If you're not sure how to find the playlist, just make sure that you have come to our channel. You can do that. There's a little picture of me below this video. Just click on that. That'll bring you to the channel. And then one of the menu options is playlists. And just click on that. You'll find the playlist for Learn While You Sleep. And then you can play that video and learn all the animal names while you are sleeping. All right, well, with that, let's get started. Dog. Dog. Cat. Cat. Horse. Horse. Goat. Goat. Donkey, donkey, sheep, sheep. Now, the interesting thing to note about sheep is that it is the same whether there is just one or there's many. You know, if it was uh, the donkey that we just learned and there was two, then you'd say donkeys, put an S at the end of it. But for sheep, you don't. Uh, you don't say sheeps. It's just sheep. Even if there's 20 or 50 or 100, it's still sheep. And then if it's just one, it's still, it's a sheep out there in the field. A sheep. 
So it doesn't change if it becomes plural. Cow. Cow. The cow in the photo here is a dairy cow. It's a cow that has been bred uh, for producing a lot of milk. And so we call it a dairy cow because it is mostly for producing milk on the farm. Uh, we'll, in a little bit, see another cow. It looks almost the same, but we'll call it cattle. Watch for that. This is a dairy cow, but it's fine just to say cow. Pig. Pig. Gopher. Gopher. Tiger. Tiger. Elephant. Elephant, monkey, monkey. And I might just point out that this particular term, monkey, is kind of usable for many different types of monkeys in the African jungles. Any of these animals that are swinging through the trees, people will just call them monkey even though the scientists might have different names for different types of monkeys uh, in the forest. I think we have a few more here coming up um, that some people might just call a monkey, but uh, we'll name a few others. So if you want, you can just call all of these swinging animals in Africa, you can call them monkeys and people will be fine with that. But we'll also learn the specific names for a specific type of monkey. At least uh, two or three are coming up, I believe. Lion. Lion. Many people consider the lion to be the king of the jungle. Lion. Giraffe, giraffe, frog, frog. Now, uh, again, the frog is kind of a generic term that can be used for many different types of frogs. The scientists may have found a couple of hundred different types of frogs and have given them specific types of names to uh, let the scientists know which frog they're talking about. But they can all be frogs. I chose this photograph because I thought this little guy was so cute. I think we have another frog coming up, and we'll see here in a minute. Elk. Elk. This is a creature that uh, is very famous in Canada and uh, also in um, certain parts of the northern countries, like Norway, for example, will have a lot of elk. I'm sure they call them something different. In Canada, we call them elk and throughout the English language. Gorilla. Now, this guy might also be considered the king of the jungle. King of the monkeys, anyway. Gorilla. He's huge. If you've ever been to a zoo and seen a gorilla, you'll know that they can get very big. Uh, the, the male, especially, can be uh, much bigger than most men. Gorilla. And very big around, too. <laughs> it's uh, quite a spectacular sight to see the gorillas in the jungle. You can do that in the country of Rwanda. Just know that it costs a lot of money to take that tour. I think it's up to $1,800 now to spend a day out in the jungle with the gorillas. Lynx. Lynx. This is a member of the cat family. Um, it's nowhere near as big as a tiger or a lion. Um, maybe about half the size. And uh, it's native, I believe, to 
Canada and the United States. Links. Links. Chameleon. Chameleon. And of course, the great thing about a chameleon is that it can change its colors depending on what type of branch it's sitting on. It can conform its colors to kind of match whatever leaves uh, they may be around so that it's hard for predators to see them. Polar bear. Polar bear. Now, this is a bear that uh, is found in the very northern part of Canada and, of course, maybe other northern countries as well. Uh, Greenland, Russia, Norway, Finland, those countries would also have polar bears. They need to be up where it's very cold. Polar bears. Brown bear. Brown bear. And the brown bear just loves to go fishing. As well as the black bear. Black bear. You can tell the difference quite easily because of the color of their coats. Brown bear and black bear. Baboon. Baboon. This is a very fancy-haired monkey that you might see in Africa, right? The baboon. Rabbit. Rabbit. Now, some people will look at this and call it a bunny in English, a bunny, especially children. Uh, they'll, they'll see this, oh, look at the pretty bunny. Um, but technically, bunny is more supposed to be for the baby rabbit. But don't be surprised if you see or hear people calling these bunnies as well. They can also be called a hare. A hare. Our next animal is the wolf. Now, the wolf looks a lot like a dog, right? In fact, Dogs, all of our dogs, all of our variety of dogs that we have in the world today are descendants genetically from the wolf. But the wolf is the wild dog in Canada and the United States that lives out in the forest and uh, is usually quite a large dog and quite wild. And so if you see a wolf in the forest, uh, don't try and pet them. <laughs> coyote. Coyote. You'll see the coyote also looks like a dog. It's usually uh, quite skinny. It's much smaller than the wolf, usually, but uh, not as small as the fox. Also looks like a dog, right? Fox. Fox. All belong to the dog family, but these three are always uh, usually in the wild. Some people have tried to take a baby wolf and raise it, and sometimes they're successful as well in uh, turning a baby wolf into a domesticated dog. The bat. Bat. Most... Ladies don't like bats. Snake. Snake. Do you like snakes? Most people don't like snakes. Okay, here's our, our frog, our, our other frog. One of thousands of different types of frogs. This one, this beautiful frog with its beautiful colors is called a tree frog. Tree frog. Deer. Deer. Beautiful creature out in the forest here in Canada and the United States. Deer. Zebra. Zebra. 
And the question that you can ask your friends whenever you talk about zebras is, is the zebra white with black stripes or black with white stripes? <laughs> what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. The kangaroo is native of Australia. Kangaroo. Alpaca. Alpaca. And uh, these are native to the country of Peru, and I have seen them. I have visited Peru many times for my work, and uh, you see a lot of them there. They're raised mostly for their fine wool. Ant eater. Ant eater. Antelope. Antelope. Beaver. Beaver. The beaver is the national animal for Canada. Black panther. Black panther. And actually, the black panther is really a leopard. Uh, if you look really closely at this photograph, you can see underneath the black coat is the skin of a leopard. And so some people will call him the black leopard as well as black panther. And in some countries, it's taken on the name of jaguar. Jaguar. Cheetah. Cheetah. It's known as one of the fastest animals on the planet. Cheetah. Squirrel. Squirrel. Squirrel is kind of, again, a generic name. Uh, a lot like frog and, and monkey. There are many kind of different species of squirrels. And uh, the biologists will have specific names for them again. But any uh, creature that kind of looks like this, that you see running around Canada and the United States, you can call them a squirrel. Our next one, chipmunk. Chipmunk. Now, he kind of looks like a squirrel too, but the markings on this fella are so distinct that uh, it is commonly known by everybody as chipmunk rather than a squirrel. Uh, children might confuse the two, but when you see those stripes down the back of this little creature, you know that it's a chipmunk. A chipmunk. A cougar. A cougar. This is a big cat. It's like the lion in Africa, at least the female lion, um, or the tiger. It's about the same size. But uh, this animal is native to Canada and the United States rather than Africa. Big cat. And quite dangerous. If you see them in the woods, you want to give them their space. Just let them keep on going. Don't try and interact with the cougar. Cougar. Crocodile. Crocodile. Before you go swimming in a lake or river in Africa, you want to be sure that there's no crocodiles there. Alligator. Alligator. Now, the alligator looks a lot like the crocodile. In fact, I have a difficult time telling the two apart. The alligator is a little bigger. The snout is uh, a little bit different. Um, the markings are a little bit different. Alligators are more common to the southern United States, whereas the crocodile may be more uh, common in South America, I believe, as well as Africa. Alligator. Tortoise. Tortoise. 
These fellows are huge. They can get very huge, and they can live a long time. They're also known as turtles, kind of a more common name. Um, in fact, there's many different types of turtles. Again, like the monkey, people will call tortoise a turtle, and that's fine. It's just one of many turtles. So if you want to just learn turtle, that's fine as well. Turtle. Mouse. Mouse. Do you have a mouse in your house? Mouse. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Whenever I visit uh, Peru, the country of Peru, I'm always uh, amazed to see how people, especially in the high altitudes where they're living up in the mountains, raise guinea pigs. Not as pets, but for food. The guinea pig. Hamster. Hamster. The hamster looks a lot like a guinea pig. A little bit different. A little bit shaped more like a mouse, isn't it? It's often uh, kept as a pet in people's homes. Uh, they like to keep them in cages or little houses that they build for them to run around in. Hamster. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Iguana. Iguana. Looks like a descendant of a dinosaur, doesn't it? Iguana. Impala. Impala. Lemur. Lemur. Moose. Moose. And uh, it's a very common animal in the forests of Canada. The moose. Otter. Otter. Ox. Ox. This kind of looks like a cow, doesn't it? We saw a cow earlier that has been specifically bred to give us milk. And uh, we call it a dairy cow. Well, the ox is traditionally uh, used for plowing or um, maybe pulling an ox cart. Maybe take their cart into town to sell their produce. The ox. Don't usually use them so much for milk. It's more for strength and pulling. Water buffalo. Water buffalo. And in many parts of Southeast Asia that I visited, this creature is also used to help plow the, the fields as well as pull the carts. Bison. Bison. This is an animal that is native to Canada and the United States. It almost became extinct in the early 1900s because it was hunted so much. Many people in Canada and the United States will actually look at this animal uh, when they see it in parks and reserves and call it a buffalo. But it's, uh, it's, it's more proper to call this a bison. Bison. Cape buffalo. This animal from the, the cow family, shall we say, uh, is uh, native to Africa. And uh, it's not usually uh, a domesticated animal. In fact, it can be quite dangerous. If you see Cape buffaloes in the field where you're on safari, you don't want to challenge them or get close to them. They can be dangerous. Cape buffalo. Panda. Panda. Porcupine. Porcupine. Skunk. Skunk. If you see one of these, don't try and pet it. 
because you will likely get sprayed with their foul s smelling scent. And uh, it is something that will stick to your body for many days and people won't want to come near you because it smells so bad. So I know it kind of looks pretty and like a kitty cat and you might be tempted to go up and touch it and, and uh, pet it, but please don't. A skunk. Raccoon. Raccoon. Rat. Rat. The rat uh, kind of looks like a mouse, doesn't it? But it's usually quite a bit bigger than a regular mouse. We call them rats. Seal. Seal. Sea lion. Sea lion. Sloth. Sloth creature, I believe, that is uh, native to Madagascar. Sloth. Cattle. Here we are. We finally come to this other kind of cow that is raised in Canada and the United States. But when we uh, raise cattle just for eating, rather than call these cows, we're more likely to call them cattle or beef Cattle, 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 gibbon, gibbon. Now here's another one of those examples where you could call this a monkey. If you're out uh, in on safari in Africa and you see this guy swinging from tree to tree, oh, look at the monkey. But it would be more proper to call this particular a uh, guy, a gibbon, a gibbon. Okay, let's now switch to birds. Birds. Did you know that birds were also animals? Birds are animals. They're a little different group of animals, but they are animals indeed. Birds. Before we move on to the birds, I want to um, say something here to you folk who are watching this lesson on study English with us. Most of you probably know, I think, that I have started my own channel, Study English with Frank. But occasionally, uh, when we have a nice lesson like this, I will also post it to TK's channel as well, or our other channel. Uh, but I want you to know that I have a lot more lessons over at my channel that I have not posted to TK's channel. And so if you would like to have more lessons like this that are English only, where you can practice listening to my conversation and get more of a feel for what it would be like to have a conversation with an English-speaking person, it's a good idea to go and come over to my channel and subscribe there as well so that you'll be notified of all of those lessons that I post there that you won't find over at TK's channel. And uh, so the way that uh, you can do that, I'm going to put a link just below this video. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a section called Description. And if you look inside the description, you might have to hit the little button there that says more to see it. But I'm going to put a link there over to my channel. You can just click on that link and you'll be taken over to my channel. And uh, once you're over there, just go over and hit the subscribe button. And that way YouTube will know that you want to be notified of all of the lessons that I release over on Study English with Frank. Hope to see you over there. Okay, let's get uh, going with the the birds. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. I find birds so beautiful, don't you? Kingfisher. Parrot. Parrot. Bee eater. 
bee eater. Macaw, macaw. Pheasant, pheasant. Flamingo, flamingo. Turkey, turkey. Tucan, tucan. Chicken. Chicken, eagle, eagle. Eagle is kind of the national symbol or animal for, or at least bird for the United States. Eagle, duck, duck, robin, robin. Sparrow, sparrow, crow, crow, cardinal, cardinal, hummingbird, hummingbird, finch. Finch, bluebird, bluebird, blue jay, blue jay, Canada goose, Canada goose. And as you can probably guess, this is a very common animal here in Canada. It's a huge bird. Um, you have they're they're quite common in our parks even, but you have to be careful not to go too close to them, uh, especially if they have young babies following them around. If you get too close and they think that you're uh, challenging them, they uh, can hurt you with their wings. They're that big. Loon. Loon. This is another very common animal in uh, Canada, very common bird. In fact, our dollar coin uh, has a loon on the front of it. We call them loonies. Do you have any loonies for the parking meter, we say? Do you have any loonies? Swan. Swan. I think this must be one of the most beautiful birds on the planet. Swan. Swan. Dove. Dove. This bird is considered to be a symbol of peace, right? Whenever a country has finally come to peace, people will symbolize that wonderful event of peace by taking a dove and letting it go. Gull. Gull. And this bird is all over Canada and the United States. Uh, if you're living near the ocean or you're camping near the ocean, you might call them a sea gull. A sea gull. But uh, if you're camping near a lake inside the middle of the country... They look the same, uh, and they don't have anything to do with the oceans. Uh, so it's better just to call them gulls. Gulls. Pigeon. Pigeon. Puffin. Puffin. There's a place in Canada, right on the eastern coast, in fact, the island our island province on the very eastern tip of Canada that have a place that you can go that's just filled with puffins. And uh, I want to go there one of these days with my camera and uh, take photographs of the puffins. Budgie. Budgie. These birds are quite commonly kept as pets. They have many different colors 
and they make sweet sounds and people put them in cages inside their house. Budgies. Chickadee. Chickadee. Woodpecker. Woodpecker. And uh, if you're hiking in the forest and you hear this rat a tat 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 that's a woodpecker pecking uh, into uh, maybe a tree that has died and uh, the, the tree is full of little insects and so he pecks his way to be able to eat the insects. Sometimes they'll peck such a hole that they'll make their nest up there as well. Woodpecker. Owl. Owl. Hawk. Hawk, falcon, falcon, ostrich, got to be one of the biggest birds that we have on the planet, ostrich. And then, of course, we must have the penguin, penguin. Well, that does it for our conversational section. Let's now do our vocabulary drills. Dog. Dog. Cat. Cat. Horse. Horse. Goat. Goat. Donkey. Donkey, sheep, sheep, cow, cow, pig, pig, gopher, gopher, tiger, tiger. Elephant, elephant, monkey, monkey, lion, lion, giraffe, giraffe, frog, frog, elk. Elk, gorilla, gorilla, lynx, lynx, chameleon, chameleon, polar bear, polar bear, brown bear. Brown bear, black bear, black bear, baboon, baboon, rabbit, rabbit, wolf, wolf, coyote. Coyote, fox, fox, bat, bat, snake, snake, tree frog, tree frog, deer, deer. Zebra, zebra, kangaroo, kangaroo, alpaca, alpaca, anteater, anteater, antelope, antelope, beaver. 
Beaver, Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Leopard, Black Leopard, Jaguar, Jaguar, Cheetah. Cheetah, squirrel, squirrel, chipmunk, chipmunk, cougar, cougar, crocodile, crocodile, alligator. Alligator, tortoise, tortoise, turtle, turtle, mouse, mouse, guinea pig, guinea pig, hamster. Hamster, hippopotamus, hippopotamus, iguana, iguana, impala, impala, lemur, lemur, moose, moose. Otter, otter, ox, ox, water buffalo, water buffalo, bison, bison, Cape buffalo, Cape buffalo. Panda, panda, porcupine, porcupine, skunk, skunk, raccoon, raccoon, rat, rat, seal. Seal, sea lion, sea lion, sloth, sloth, cattle, cattle, gibbon, gibbon, birds, birds. Kingfisher, kingfisher, parrot, parrot, bee eater, bee eater, macaw, macaw, pheasant, pheasant. Flamingo, flamingo, turkey, turkey, toucan, toucan, chicken, chicken, eagle, eagle, duck. Duck, robin, robin, sparrow, sparrow, crow, crow, c 
cardinal. Cardinal. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Finch. Finch. Bluebird. Bluebird. Blue jay. Blue jay. Canada goose. Canada goose. Loon. Loon. Swan. Swan. Dove. Dove. Gull. Gull. Pigeon. Pigeon. Puffin. Puffin. Budgie. Budgie. Chickadee. Chickadee. Woodpecker. Woodpecker. Owl. Owl. Hawk. Hawk. Falcon. Falcon. Ostrich. Ostrich. Penguin. Penguin. Well, that's it for our vocabulary lesson on animals, but I know that so many people love animals that I'm planning to do another lesson where it'll be more about conversations that you can have with people about animals. So watch for that. And the best way that you can be sure that you will get that lesson is to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell and YouTube will let you know each time we release a new lesson. All right, uh, look forward to seeing you here next time at Study English with Frank. So long for now. <laughs>